right, if you've looked out your window at all, you know that the roads are very tricky, but the road crews, they have been out there working very hard. They sure have. Jay Fink, Commissioner of Worcester's Public Works and Parks Department, is joining us right now. Jay, good morning to you. Uh, what are your crews seeing out there in the central part of the state? Good morning. We are seeing a whole lot of snow come down. Uh, it's really coming down a good clip. Visibility is very difficult. We see where we've plowed a street, come back a half hour later, it looks completely white and there's a lot of fluff out there. Uh, so we're, we're at it. We've been plowing since about 4, 4.30 this morning. Uh, it's just a slow going out there. We see a lot of cars trying to make it up and down these hills and we're doing the best we can right now. Our, our word is of caution, you know, if you have to go out, go slow. Uh, if you don't have to go out, stay home. Yeah, what's the biggest challenge with a storm like this? Um, we're talking a late February storm. People have been experiencing really warm temperatures over the last few days, and they get back out on these roads and are like, well, you know, winter, it's still around. Yes, and, and unfortunately, you had those you know warm temperatures. Everyone thought spring was here, uh, but it is only February. Um, there is a little saving grace in that uh, in a few days, you'll have above it. Uh, freezing temperatures, which should help, but uh, we've got to get through today, get through this storm. Uh, folks are going to be anxious to get out, shovel the driveway, clear their walks. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be plowing until the snow is over. So the bulk of the snow may finish up this morning, but we're going to be out all afternoon plowing. So do yourself a favor. Anticipate that the plows are going to come down the street again. Don't go to the edge of the driveway and get upset with the plow driver as they go ahead and push the snow down the street. Also, for those that are going to be snow blowing their walks, if they can turn that snow blower, put it on the front lawn, your front lawn is going to love it as an extra blanket of insulation and some freeze fertilizer, if you will, uh, rather than pushing it in the street because then you're just creating a public safety nuisance for uh, your neighbors and everyone trying to get up and down that street. Jay, can you give us a, give us a sense of how many folks you got working the roads right now and, and is it an all hands on deck situation? We've got uh, about 325 pieces of equipment moving. Uh, in the same time, we're trying to uh, continue with the day-to-day -day operations of picking up the uh, the trash and recycling. Uh, so, you know, we do have all hands on deck, but they're, they're going in many different directions right now. Oh, that's true. You got to get the trash and recycling. I know mine's out on the curb right now. <laughs> Jay Fink, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks, Jay. Uh, dry cleaning uh, canceled for my pickups.